Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for May 30 through to June 5. We are moving into a heightened period of earthquake potential based on a significant planetary alignment and an extremely large coronal hole formation which will be rotating the earth facing side of the disk in the coming days all represent a potential of an 8.2 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info and focusing on a significant coronal hole which may be of interest during the initial part of this watch. Now I'm targeting an unnumbered coronal hole formation which is at high latitudes of the northern hemisphere and I feel may produce a 6 magnitude earthquake during the first few days of this watch. And we do have a very large coronal hole formation which is yet to rotate the earth facing side of the disk and this will be the main focus of attention towards the end of the watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we see that over the last 24 hours solar wind speeds have decreased from 460 to 360 kilometers a second. Now we should see over the next 24 hours a slight increase to 450 kilometers a second or a sharp rise in solar winds due to the high speed solar wind stream coming from coronal hole formation CH519. Now this is a weak coronal hole so we should see these levels of solar winds decrease again shortly thereafter. But I'm expecting a strong earthquake potential during the initial part of this watch based on this large coronal hole formation at high latitudes on the northern hemisphere. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map and from these images we get to see this very large coronal hole formation with respect to the earth and the estimated time of arrival of this coronal hole formation to be in an earth facing position is on June 3rd to June 4th. So this will be the main dates to watch in terms of this very large earthquake potential based on this very large coronal hole. We're now looking at solar monitors 193 angstrom and focusing on the northern hemisphere where we see this long lateral coronal hole which is currently unnumbered. Now I have isolated 45 to 48 degrees north latitude as a main area of focus and I do feel that the key dates would be May 29 to May 30. Now I do feel that this is an impulsive earthquake or a shallow event that is possible but there are sporadic holes which may indicate a swarm of earthquakes along these latitudes but I do feel that there may be a potential of a very strong earthquake possibly 6 magnitude. Now I'm going to plot and map this coronal hole formation which is unnumbered to the earth and my number one area of concern are for the regions of off the coast of Oregon, Puget Sound in Washington and stretching up towards the Vancouver Islands Canada regions. These will be the number one areas of concern based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the earth. My second area of concern will be for the Kuril Islands and my third area of concern will be for the East Kazakhstan region. And my final area of concern for this 6 magnitude earthquake for the initial part of this watch would be for the region of Romania. We're now looking at a split screen of the stereo behind moving imagery and also a solar monitor. From these images we get to see this extremely large coronal hole formation which is about to rotate the earth facing side of the disk and I feel harbors the potential of a significant earthquake possibly over 8 magnitude. Now I have isolated 11 to 21 degrees north latitude as a main area of focus and I will plot and map some regions that I feel would be most at risk for this large event. My number one area of concern for this watch is for the regions of Mariana Islands and also Guam. My second and third areas of concern are Luzon Philippines and Taiwan. And my final area of concern is for the Andaman Islands for this possible 8.2 magnitude earthquake towards the end of this watch and that's at the dates of June 3 to June 4. Now it's also worth noting that we do have the Venus transit which is a significant celestial event and it will occur on June 6. Now I do feel that there are some significant energies that will be released prior to this date and this is coinciding with this very large coronal hole formation. Now I will leave the link in the description box of my planetary alignment video which falls for June 4 and June 5 which covers this. We're now looking at the global real time ionospheric map where we see some powerful readings have just been registered of 16 megahertz. Now we have been sitting on 13 and 12 megahertz over the last few days and this is the largest reading that's been seen for a short while which is a concern. Now this may be an indication of some strong earthquakes coming our way so it's definitely worth keeping a close note of. We're now looking at the Australian Pulsation PC3 index where we see a powerful reading of 10 registered on this service. Now I'm attributing this reading to the poorly defined coronal hole formation CH519 and I feel this may be indicative of a very strong earthquake over 6.5 in magnitude over the next day or two. Now we have received some significant readings over the last 12 hours which may indicate a 6.5 magnitude earthquake for the southern hemisphere with the most likely areas of focus being associated with the coronal hole formation CH519. 
Now this may indicate a strong earthquake in the Papua Indonesia region or adjacent in the New Britain region, Papua New Guinea, over the next few days. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for May 27, 2012. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. We'll be providing more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.